Hello and welcome to my blog called Sab Says and well this is the first of hopefully many episodes that I uh, intend to upload uh, every week um, but I'll say now okay disclaimer if I don't manage to upload like a like a thing literally every week don't have a period about it okay because um, it's just a fucking video blog, okay? So calm the fuck down. I don't. I don't think anyone's going to be watching this blog anyway, except me. So, um, so calm down, okay? Just calm down. If I don't upload one every week, chill out, okay? Because I don't want people spreading rumors about me. I don't want people, you know, um, you know, coming to my house with pitchforks and you know. Um, hurling bricks at windows, starting fires, or, um, you know, just uh, anything negative. And I don't want anything negative from this, okay? This is purely positive thing that I'm trying out here. So if this starts, you know, death threats and everything like that because I didn't upload a, a vlog every week, it's not worth it because it's just a fucking vlog, okay? So calm the fuck down, okay? That's what I'm saying, okay? Um, yeah, so... Uh, Many, I didn't really know what to say when I started this, um, and I didn't know what to talk about, because, you know, so many people do vlogs nowadays on YouTube, you see so many of them, so what what do I talk about? Um, I didn't really know, and I know you're thinking, why is he wearing this shirt? Um, and I'll tell you why, I bought this shirt at a Russell Peters um comedy gig at the O2 Arena in last year, about, around about Valentine's Day last year, and it says Stay Brown, which shows that I'm sticking up for the minorities, okay? So if there are any brown people watching other than me, if there are any brown people watching, I've got you in my hands. Yeah, great. So, um, so yeah, that's why I'm wearing this. And other than that, I'm perfectly normally dressed, as you can see. So, um, so that's that off the agenda. So, um, what to talk about? I didn't know what to talk about, as I just said. So I asked a few of you guys, and well, the only person who helped out was Becca, who said that I should talk about jelly. Um, I was a bit perplexed by this because jelly. What can you talk about with jelly? Um, she said she would punish me with sexually aggravated actions if I didn't talk about jelly. So when you put it like that, whips, chains, bondage, handcuffs, you know, it's needless aggro, if you, uh, if you get what I mean. So I think we better do what Becca asks and then there's Alison, my new American friend, who put forward the topic of melons. So um I guess we should keep her happy too. So first question, why do a blog? Good question. Well why do a blog? Um the reason why I decided to do this blog is because I've got a lot of funny possibly quirky, possibly even controversial ideas, stored up in my little brain box up here, which just need to be pushed out there. And I figured, with YouTube such, you know, such a popular channel now, I figured, um, just let's broadcast these ideas, and they're just going to go from strength to strength to strength. That's the plan anyway. You know, who knows where this is going to take me? Probably nowhere, probably nowhere, but you know, you never know. Always believe, as a wise man once said. I don't know who said it. I mean, he always says a wise man once said. But, you know, as long as you... If you can't prove who said it, you know... I mean, how many wise men are there in this world? And how many wise men once lived? I mean, there's three, according to the Bible. I mean, why were they so wise? I mean, what sort of... Do they have any sort of qualifications to sort of say that they're wise? What I'm just what I'm asking is what I'm not trying to be blas blasphemous or anything, but what made them become wise? Why did everybody say that they were wise? 
you know? So um, that's what I want to know. What, 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 why suddenly did they become such the big thing? Ooh, these are wise guys. Yeah, how do you know they're wise? Ooh, they answered a question. Great. I mean, it doesn't say why they're wise. We just, we're just told that they're the wise men. All right, prove it. If you're so wise, you'd be, you'd want to show it up, wouldn't you? You want to, you know, show everyone why, what's the big, what's everybody shouting about? Why are you the wise men? You know what I mean? Think about that one. So, let's get Becca's topic out of the way. Jelly. Well, where to start? Probably in the fridge. Not a good joke. Um, yeah, well, the thing with jelly, come to think of it, they are de deceptively wobbly little things, aren't they? Now, I'm thinking, every, when you talk about jelly, everyone's like, well, wobbly, you know, this wobble, wobbly food that everybody eats. Wobbly is a funny word. Um, wobbly food that everybody eats. Now, should we just characterise a food just on the way it moves? You know? I mean, other than that, is jelly all that great? It doesn't taste of much, really, does it? There's a taste in your mouth for about a second, and then it just goes. I mean, it's nothing. It's just mass. It's just matter. It's just because it moves, everybody has to eat it. And it's funny-shaped colours. Funny-shaped colours. Funny-looking colours. It is oddly shaped, actually, jelly. Um... And it moves. That's why people eat it, I reckon. Because I don't see the... It's not fruit at all. There is no... If you think... There is no fucking fruit in jelly at all. Fact. Okay? No fruit in jelly whatsoever. Um, so, yeah. And that leads me nicely to melons. Because I've just figured out something to talk about melons. Now, um, I think the only melon that you know of is watermelon, right? You don't know any of the other kinds of melons. There's like, there's the orange one, and there's the green one that you get like, and a starter when they say, do you want super melon? You say melon, and they give you the like, the green one, and there's the orange one as well, and I think there's a yellow one. But you don't know the names for them, you only know the one that's got, that's called watermelon. I'm just saying, should we just call all melons by their colour? Oh, I'll have the green melon please, yeah. I know what that one is. Here you go. I'll have the orange one. Yep. I'll have the red one. Instead of watermelon, call it the red one. Red one. Here it comes. Eat it. Simple. Because it, because the only fruit that's distinguished by colour is an orange. Now, I'm thinking that's racist. You know? Sure, you know. This racist just labelling this guy by his colour. Why not call it a citrus fruit? It's got citrus in it, so call it a citrus fruit. You don't call this a red, do you? You don't call it red, because it's, it's, yes, it's red, but you call it an apple. We can't call it a citrus fruit. Simple. Yeah? We just start calling it a citrus fruit, which I think you should all do as of now. Call it a citrus fruit. In time, everyone will know what I'm talking about. Because calling it an orange is racist, I reckon. So if you're not going to call it a citrus fruit, then start labelling the fucking melons different colours as well, okay? Start calling them yellow melon, uh, green melon, red melon, and the orange melon. Works both ways. Give and take. Bit of balance, yeah? Because it's not fair if the orange is on his own just labelling orange. Think, yeah? And I think... That's all for this week. If you have any uh, sort of comments, questions, um, or anything, uh, you can email me, sab297 at hotmail.co.uk, or you can leave me a private message on my YouTube channel, sab567. And uh, thank you all for watching. I shall see you next time. This is Sab, saying stay brown.